Okay, Brandon, this is a good one. After Christmas, we're going to look at Marcus Drone. I like this one because you're both hitting with your left foot stretched out, which is a good uh, example to look at. So let's watch here. From the ready position right here, and you see you turn your racket head right there. That's good. I like that. But I would also like if you could just start bending that racket head back a little bit so that it's, see how it's still pointed forward? Get the racket back in a better position. Watch Djokovic when he prepares every time on his back end. He sets that wrist, and the wrists are in the position in the front of his body. Now watch Jerome down here. As he moves, the hands are in front of his body right here. And see how your racket is still not even coming close to being there. Look at Jerome's racket face. That's a typical racket face of a, of a top pro or a good pro right there, okay? Right there. And yours is late preparing, okay? And now watch. Now you go back. See, your racket face is still wrong there. Look at where Jerome's racket is, okay? And so right here, okay, you plan on your left foot. Okay, so you see your racket head is still not pointed in a good position. I want to get it up so that it loads up a little bit higher. It doesn't have to load as high as Jerome, but it needs to go up a little bit higher and then drop down. Now watch where Jerome's is. Look at how far Jerome's hands, so his ra your wrist definitely, the racket should already be bent back a little bit right here. See how it's straight? and your hands are a little bit too close to your body. Look where Jerome's hands are right here, okay? And the reason I say that, now you push your arms out, it should all be attached to basically your torso, moving around your torso and loading your shoulders back. See the space there between his hands and his shoulders? Yours are a little tight in there. Look at, look at his space in his arms and look at your arms, okay? Your arms do not look comfortable in there. Okay, and then you got to load up a little bit higher with the swing. Just a little bit higher angle elevation up, okay? To point it a little bit up more so that when you plant on the racket that you drop it down. Now you are dropping it down there good, and you're both in a similar position. But look at Marcus's racket where his is loaded back there, and yours is too much dropped down on your hip, okay? And you see how your hands are touching your hip and Marcus's is away from the hip. Now watch as you stretch from the press from the left foot to the right foot and come around and watch this right here. Watch Marcus below first. The left hip rotates as you push forward, right? And your shoulders come around, right? And the hands are coming together. See where Marcus's hands are away from his body? Your hands are tucked in. And when he comes forward, he's making contact squarely in front of the body. Now, look at your left shoulder and look at his left shoulder. Your left shoulder comes to about right there, and then it kind of stops. Watch Marcus's shoulder there. See how his shoulder pushes through the shot? Your arm's coming through, but your shoulder's not really pushing through. You're kind of just, you're already off the ball right here. Right here, you push off the ball. And you see how Marcus is, he makes contact in front because his hands are away. And when he rotates around, the grip and the wrist are firm right there. There's no need for him to arm the ball. He's just extending the shoulder and pushing through, extending through and up. And you see how you've kind of come off the ball and he's compressing the ball up. See how much he stretched through right there? And yours are kind of, you can see that you've broken off the ball early and he stretched up and through. Now we'll look at next to your brother and 